What's up everyone, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to install Multiman without a USB or a computer. But again, you can choose to if you want to, but this is without. So what you're going to do is make sure your PS3 is on custom firmware hen, which it is. Mine's running custom firmware. Rebug 4.84, but you want to be running a different custom firmware like Evil Matt, or you might be on hen. You come to package manager, install package files, system storage, and install the multi-man mod and there you go that's it multi-man is right here uh, if you're running hen obviously you've got to make sure hen is enabled before loading it or it'll give you an error uh, so we can go ahead and load this up uh, so this will pop up just hit yes And there you go, installing Multiman data to the internal hard drive, please wait. And there you go, this is Multiman if you've never used it before. Uh, you can pop your discs in, uh, PS1, PS2, PS3, and you can copy them to the PS3, you know, discs you own. And, um, then you won't have to use the disc anymore, you can run them straight from this homebrew. Very cool that is. Um, so if you scroll across though to uh, settings, there might be some music playing in the background if you don't want that on. Come down to, um, where is it, just keep scrolling down to theme audio and disable that. Mainly it. Uh, there's a few things you can do on here, like I said it looks like the XMB screen, uh, the retro games will be here, and then there's a, all this as well, themes as well. Uh, file manager looks like a desktop, so for this you use the right analog stick to move the mouse, okay, and then if you open up a PS3 root, this will pop up, use the left analog stick to move this folder, and if we we can go into the folders, you know, if you know what you're doing. Um, so dev hdd0 will take us directly to where mainly you will be going for files, etc. And you'll see all this right here. Uh, if you click X on it once, then circle. This will pop up. Use the arrow keys or D-pad, and you can select things like that. And then, by the way, you can open up multiple ones of these like this just make sure you've gone into it you know you can copy and paste things as well like I said and uh, yeah that's mainly it for multi-man so I hope that I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have uh, leave a like subscribe and also if you want to quit out of multi-man there's a few ways you can you can hold circle and this will pop up and uh, there's also, if we go here, you can hit quit here. So, like I said, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully it helps you all out. And if it has, leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, bye for now.